Hi, I'm Monty Chris with Professionals Choice. We're here at the Avila Training Stables with Bob to talk about uh, bits today. Bob, I think this is our, our, our best kept secret in, in the arsenal of, of bits and, and hackamores and things like that. Me being a roper, I've used a hackamore my whole life. And, right. and, and this is a very unique design that you came up with. Uh, you want to touch base on that? Well, you know, you can see that this tie down is all frayed right here. And this is one of my older tie downs. And we put it on this horse just so you could see where it's frayed. <clears throat> And it's frayed because bridles have rubbed on it all the time. And so we came up with an idea where the hackamore right here, where the chin strap hooks on, comes out and comes over. So when it moves, it doesn't bind with the tie down. Right so here. it misses the tie down, it keeps it from hanging up and keeps some more constant pressure. Right, exactly. And I mean, it just, you know, you, you get a better pressure point with it mm -hmm. on the horse and you don't get all bound up and stuff. And it just, it works great, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's something that I think a lot of people look at and don't really understand when they do see it. So what are, what, how does a, a hackamore, what are the mechanics of a hackamore? Well, you know, a mechanical hackamore works on the nose and on the chin, and it just doesn't have a mouthpiece in it. And I know that, you know, I grew up as a roper's son, and I think my dad thought my hands were so bad, he just had me riding hackamore all the time, <laughs> mechanical hackamore. But I do know that, you know, like I've had horses that we've won the super horse on, and we roped on him with a mechanical hackmore, so he almost knew, he did so many events, that he almost knew the difference with the headgear that we put on It's him. time to rope now, we've got the hackmore. we got the hackmore bit on him, you know, mechanical hackmore. Right. And, uh, you know, you have to, your horse has to realize what you're doing with him mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's something that a lot of times, we'll go out and trail ride a horse, we just throw one of these on him. So right. we're not hanging on their mouth, they don't have anything in their mouth. And it's just, it's good that if you want to let them eat, they can eat. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have a bridle and bit in their mouth or anything. Right. Uh, something I wanted to point out that, that a dentist brought up to my, to my attention was, once again, by doing that, we're eliminating that from rolling and putting pressure on those on the teeth mm -hmm. right there and, and causing some irritation for that horse, discomfort. Right. right. It, it is a great thing, and, and I think you are right. I think that it could be one of our best kept secrets. Oh, I'll tell you what, it is, it is it's an awesome product. Yeah. Well, Bob, thanks again for having us out here. You we bet. appreciate it. See right there where See everything we, binds right there? That's what the, the normal hackamore, mechanical hackamore does. And that can't be comfortable on a horse right there. And that's without really pulling on one. So with our design, we're, we're, we're allowing this to come out and around so it's got a, you have a full range of motion with, that, with this outside cheek of the hackamore. And see, no matter where it's at, it's kind of binding there all the time. Right. Yeah, I don't think he likes it. No, I don't think he does either. <laughs>